I'm Scott Brown, Greenland and other home energies. Now we're looking at the wind turbine heading up into my place here. Hey, Buddy's on the wrong side of the vehicle. You guys over in the UK understand. Anyway, we're pulling up to the shop. Got a special day here. Well, I guess we're going to get to watch the charge controller work. It's really, uh, worked really hard today. There we are. Oh yeah, that's the thing. We got weather. 15 to 25 mile an hour winds, 35 mile an hour gust. We got hail coming, a good heavy storm. 60 to 70 mile an hour down drafts. Lots of fun. Wish I could absorb that power. Anyway, we're gonna be down here a while and have some fun. We're gonna look at a charge controller and see how it works. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energies. Well, it's just starting to rain. Finally got that parked up under the awning where my side is dry. And I rolled the wind up almost all the way, or pulled it up, they just slide. And I came back in there and said, oh yeah, better go over there and close the door. They slide back, they don't open out. Well, anyway, looking up here at these clouds, these clouds are looking, uh, moving around. Part of them's coming down, some of them's going up. Go check out the voltage of the charge control. <laughs> Anyway, there's the uh, amp meter. Uh, it looked like it was saying four right there. Uh, when I first came in, it was uh, pretty much uh, right around eight, probably around eight, nine amps. Anyway, we're looking at 12.91, 12.86. You can see the amperage going down over there. I'll line these up where you can look at both of them. 12.8, and the dump load went off. 12.9 That's creeping up 12.99 Call it 13 volts it's Dropping a little bit The wind's catching up There we go, it's 13 And 13, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8 There's 14 something And the charge controller went off Setting the dump load, which drops the voltage, and this goes back up, that dump load ought to turn right back on, see? That's what it does, but it drains it straight from the battery. It drains it straight from the battery, and drops your voltage that way. So you need a heavy enough dump load that'll take care of more than what your wind turbine's putting out. So I'm looking at 13.15. I think it's safe to say I can turn some power on in here. <laughs> We'll show you the wire and diagram and the rest of that a little later. Look right here, you're looking at the... That green light is constantly on and the red one's on. That means it's in dump load. That's the red light. The green one means it's 13.5 or above. Which we're looking at 14.2 right now. I need a little bit more dump load to handle this. Hey, that's a uh, relay over there at 440 amps. It's a regular 12 volt car relay. Uh, ooh, pull that down a little bit. I'm getting wet. <laughs> and the rains are coming. Man, it's a coming. And the wind's kicking up. That light's still on. I'm at 13. Going back up a little bit. I'm going to turn a few things on. And there's the hail I promised. I knew the wind was going to be going that way. That's a good spot to park at. There's a nice little marl over there. And it's a coming down. This is kicking. And it's in dump. I'm going to turn some more power on. There we go. Might as well put this up. There we go. Got the food on bed, got a light up there. And I got these other lights. That one going. I'm still looking at 12.8. Looks like it's dropping a little bit. I'll turn the inverter off. Now oh, she's still kicking up. Anyway, I'm gonna break for now and watch the hill. 
Meet this gordita. We'll catch you later. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, another home energy. Many good things to you and yours. Okay, this right here is a heater element from a dryer. It broke right here, and I just kind of pulled them down and pushed them into each other. I'm going to bend it around and clamp it off with some stainless steel, and she'll be fine. Anyway, it's not going to be doing 120 volt. It's going to be about 12 volts. If I wanted this to heat up, we're looking at 12 is one tenth of 120. I'd use about one tenth if I wanted it for heat. If uh, so, I figure up here, I'd say this is going back and forth six times. If I just took one section from here to here, that'd be one sixth, and it won't light up real bright, but it would put off a little heat. This is worth uh, 1,500 watts right here. Make an excellent dump load. The only thing about this is it can throw heat behind it, all around it. This is dangerous. It needs to be enclosed ventilated in steel or tin and uh, it also needs to be setting out about that far from the wall so it's ventilated from the wall with an extra shield that way it doesn't uh, heat up your wall or cause a fire even on sheetrock you say well sheetrock doesn't burn well the outside is paper and the rock can get hot enough to ignite the paper on the other side of your wall or you got a, a fire inside your wall not very good safety first but anyway this will make a whole lot better dump load than the uh, 50 watt right there she'll take a lot more anyway i'm scott brown with green wind and other home energies many good things to you and yours well the sun is going down the wind has died we're looking at the tail edge of the storm over there on that side or actually the side of it, it looks pretty nice maybe the rain's over with boy it sure did come down for a while <laughs> I had fun while I was down here. That sure is beautiful. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Well, we finally got a break in the low level clouds. And you can see some of the high level clouds right behind these. A little higher, way, uh, way behind these. Pretty nice. Looks like it's going to be a good evening from here on out. And it's still pretty decent. It's about 65 degrees. It was about 71 earlier. The peak of the day, I think, was 76 degrees. Strange weather. My goodness.